I write to you to offer my condolences for the loss of a member of your family. I am so sorry that you have gone through a very hard time, and I ask God to give you patience for. Uh, and I ask God to give you patience for that sad incident. I advise first myself, then you, to believe in God deeply and by praying to God, try to stay calm and strong during the difficult times. I hope one day all nations, including British and Afghani nations, enjoy of peace. May God grant you patience. This is the letter for uh, British families. There was nothing wrong with the letter, but uh, I am not allowed to send basket of flowers and letter um, as long as uh, is the bail condition yeah, is on. If any friend in any terrorist attack will be wounded or killed, I should first, I should ask permission from the Australian Defense Force, then I can contact my friends to offer my condolences. So you can't well, you do that? the British troops? Uh, regarding the British troops, um, I, I will not be able to send my condolence letter to the British uh, troops. And why did you want to do that? Uh, I, I can show you the sample of the letter. It's, it's a very nice letter. It's a condolence letter, and there is no any problem with that. And even the prosecution said, we don't have any problem with this letter. I just wanted to send a 237 basket of flowers attached with uh, 237 condolence letters to families of British soldiers. And the British Prime Minister thanked me on 7th of January this year for this decision. So this was something nice to do. Why did, why did, you, why did you want to send those things to the, the families of British soldiers who died? Why not? Why we shouldn't uh, offer our condolences to families of uh, other uh, deceased? Do you, do you think the families of the British soldiers would have appreciated receiving letters and flowers from you? If, if I send a letter to offer my condolences, why they shouldn't uh, appreciate it? It wasn't quite the same tone as what you said the Australian... Uh, same tone, the only difference is that I have not written in the letter, please advise the government not to kill civilians. The prosecution was worried, what if I advise people to ask the government not to kill any civilians? So I didn't mention uh, about not killing civilians in the letter because the prosecution is worried about this uh, subject about not killing civilians. Did you